Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a reading, a love reading, or whatever comes out for the sign of Capricorn. Um, you guys weren't even on my list right to, like right away. I mean, you were coming up. I was going to do a water sign to keep the order going, but I guess we're doing this because that's what popped in my head. I'm also changing shit up, so someone in this situation is making changes for themselves or between you and another person. Maybe you're making these changes. Um, I just feel oh, nervous. Like, eh, I don't know if it's nerves or if it's, um, holy crap. I guess that's how someone's feeling. Holy crap. So anyways, please like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe, stick around. I really hope you do stay. I'd love it if you would. So I'm using the Moonology instead of my Willow Vines cards because that's what I was told. And these two came out. The answers you need are coming and step out of your comfort zone. So I kind of feel like someone's been praying for clarity and guidance, like, how do I move a situation forward? How do I get myself out of this? Whatever it is. Um, what do I do here? What do I say here? And that could be in any situation um, for you. But I am reading about love. So I do feel like communication was an issue. And someone needs to step out of their comfort zone. And take a risk. Take a chance. Like if somebody doesn't want to talk to you. It is what it is. Or I feel like whoever you want to speak to. Or whoever wants to speak to you. Is, would listen at the very least but go into a conversation with no expectations but you, I feel like there's someone in this situation that really needs to take the lead and they're not they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing yeah just surrender to the divine you know allow follow your heart allow yourself to be open to new experiences new people um, new religions even and I'm not saying you have to change your faith because I would never say that uh, whatever brings you comfort and peace is what you need to continue to um, be part of you know what I mean but there could be a religious something to do with religion like you believe differently than someone else or something or they believe differently than you it's like you can okay it's making me think of something that one of my exes said a long time ago. Well, his father said it to me. And it's in the Bible somewhere, but they were Pentecostal. And he had said, a house divided will always fall. And that can have multiple meanings as well. But you can still be with someone who believes differently because... We date people who have different interests than us. You know what I mean? Different political views. It's like you don't have to be with someone that's exactly like you. Because why would you want it? That's boring as shit to say it. But <coughs> I understand in certain cultures and, and religions and stuff, you know, it is part of your faith to marry. Like you can only marry someone who is the same faith as you, especially if you're a Catholic, like a devout Catholic and stuff like that. But there's other religions that feel the same, that, you know, they practice the same way. That, there's like, that could be a problem for some of you, but I don't feel like that's the problem in this situation. I feel like it's, I don't think my family will accept you or, um, someone doesn't want to rock the boat or something. Like, you're... They're scared of ridicule and judgment. There's something to do with the stars here as well, like the constellations. Oh, which reminds me. Um, I was talking about a long time ago, three stars. And I keep freaking seeing them. And I have, and it's funny because in my kitchen, didn't even realize it. I have an American flag thing hanging up and I think it's got the constitution on it or something and below it it has three stars and they're little hooks for like coats and crap 
or bags. And I was looking at that when I was eating my bagel and I'm just like, the three stars. Well, I saw it in the sky and that's Orion's belt, which I didn't know because I don't do astrology and I don't know the constellations and stuff. And I was just like, why is that so significant? I kept staring at it and I heard it's pointing to the problem. It's pointing to the problem. And it was literally pointing to someone's house. I'm just saying like legit, like the way that I saw it, it was almost like in Beetlejuice oh, right there. There's the problem kind of thing. Um, that's something different though. But anyways, Why the hell am I saying that in Capricorn tweeting? Maybe some of you need to do some research on some constellations and stuff. Something to do with stars or, or that could be an interest of yours or your. That's what you're doing right now. You're learning about stuff like that. Um, some of you could be just learning astrology, period. But it goes along with the dream that I had. And <laughs> before I even went to bed... This was not last night, it was the night before. I um, I was like, oh, the men in black, ha ha, because I was thinking of aliens and stuff. Well, I don't know why the fuck I was thinking that, but I wasn't thinking of Orion's belt or anything. I was just, I just said men in black, ha ha. Well, <coughs> there is a conspiracy theory going around. Someone must be, must love stuff like this that's going to watch this, I'm just saying. But there is one going around about the men in black who are like aliens because weird shit happens. People disappear when they're around and, and stuff like that. But I'm not going to get into that whole thing. So I go to sleep and the at the end of my dream, which is the most vivid part, I just remember looking at this cat and I kept saying vehicles piss me off I need like a soundproof room like a legit and I'm gonna get one eventually so anywho um the cat I was looking at the cat and I kept saying your your necklace is choking you your necklace is choking you it's not me Jessica not my necklace somebody else's necklace is choking them it's making it hard for them wait making it hard for them to speak because I was scared of wearing my necklace at one point with all this crazy energy I was like no someone could choke me with that fuck this I ain't wearing a fucking necklace like <laughs> that's what I was thinking but it's for someone else who is connected to me so I don't know what that's about but anyways in the dream um, cause it was a cross talking about religion. It's a fucking hoodoo voodoo crap in here too. I'm just saying, I don't know. Like someone was sending hexes and crap to peek to, to someone, to one person. I was going to say to a couple, but apparently it's just one. And yeah telling you so when I burp and it's hard to breathe and I poke myself literally right here it's usually spirit saying something because they're they're coming through so that messages can get delivered that that maybe I personally can't say because I'm being restricted you know what I mean because I kept saying in another reading that it felt like my throat chakra was being squeezed and re like restricted. <coughs> and sometimes I'll talk and then I'm like, and I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. And I'm just like, where the hell is this coming from? But anyways, in the dream, just let me get to the fucking dream, please. So I saw the cat, the one in the movie, and it had the choker on the little collar with um, the, the charm, the jewel. Because the galaxy they were looking for within Orion's belt or whatever was in the jewel. Oh, that's in the Nine of Pentacles, too. And that's why I was staring at that dream. The dream deck. I almost grabbed it. And I was like, no, we got to use this one first. 
the tenth pentacle is in someone's throat chakra. It's just speaking up. Someone just needs to speak up. And they'll find what they're looking for. It's like, you're everything I've ever wanted and more. And I didn't even know how, how much I needed you. I heard you've done so much for me. And I've done nothing. Someone might be in regret right now. I'm just saying. But that was a cool dream anyways. I don't fucking know why some of this crap comes up. Well, I do know why. The spirit just loves doing that. So anyways, it's for a Capricorn. That's why. Or it's for someone with Capricorn in their chart. Or someone who's dealing with a Capricorn themselves. Spending time in nature. That will help you... Um, you know, just get back in touch with yourself. So there is someone here who goes outside a lot because I was staring at this book too. And where the fuck is it? <laughs> Gone fishing. And I'm like, that was the first thing that popped in my head when I was looking at this book. And I'm like, okay someone likes to go fishing they like to go maybe they like to hunt I don't think this person's a hunter though not for this specific message but there are some people who do hunt that will watch this something's all about timing time is up is what I just heard but then I looked at time travel and astral travel so for some of you Either you or them, flip-flop, vice versa, whatever. Um, some of you have literally astral traveled to this person and seen them outside. You've seen them at a campfire, camping, or walking, or hiking, or you've seen what they're doing. You can watch them, and you have. I feel like you've watched each other before. It's almost like you guys do very similar things. Sometimes at the same time. Um, other times it's, you know, one of you will do it and then the other one will get the urge to do it and you both are literally doing the same thing at different locations. That's what that feels like. There's something about time travel too could just be an interest. I keep talking about conspiracy theories and crap, so maybe that's it. But why do I want to look at this? Okay. Huh. No, no, no. This can't be happening. You don't like me much. Going, going, gone. Number three. Three is gone. Poof. Goodbye. I love you too much. It hurts. Bad. And I circled bad. Those are codes too. Bad. The circles are bad. The circles are bad. The circles. Driving around in circles. I drew that too. The circle. It's not, it's not the ring of fire and it's not, wait a minute. All right. I just want to say, what the fuck? That's coming from Jess. I'm just saying. The circles are bad apparently, but I was just talking about in a different reading how, like in a bubble, because I looked, I don't know. I didn't even look it up. It just popped up. This information with circles and crap and <coughs> has there's a problem with religion. There really is. And I mean, there isn't literally a problem with religion, but in religious beliefs and stuff, but someone is preying on your downfall and trying to hurt you. It is a spiritual attack. Okay. Because it has something to do with the fucking circles because in that thing, it showed, it didn't matter what the religion was. 
I mean, ancient Egyptians, they had the circles over their head or was it Osiris? I think he's the one that has the circle with the cobra wrapped around it or the viper, whatever the hell it is. Um, was that him? Yeah, cause wait, what was that? No, that wasn't raw. I don't know. Anyway, maybe it was, who knows? Oh yeah, the sun could be, but regardless of who the hell is who that's there. And a lot of like Christian, Catholic, whatever depictions of deities and, you know, the mother Mary and Jesus, their circles either around their head or around the entire being or whatever is how they painted these things. And it's not, it's not bad in that sense, but it's a sign showing me because the circles are bad. It's almost like being restricted, being confined. Because when I looked at those circles, like around Jesus and stuff, I was like, it made me think of an aura of light and love. And it is a sense of protection, but it's like it was contained in that little circle, basically. So someone could be trying to contain your energy, like bottle it up, baby, you know? It's like, if we could, we would, we'd sell it and make, take, make millions. That's what I feel with something, but it's like not allowing, you can only go so far because of what, what someone's, some spell, basically something that someone's doing to you or something. It's something like that because yeah, the circles aren't bad, but they are when they're not. It's a fucking coven, too. Ow, my leg. Mm. Just a bunch of witches around, and some of these witches are men, like warlocks, or they think they are. I don't know what the hell is going on here. But the power of prayer with the masses, like a lot of. Oh, I saw that fraud dude again, Stigmata. Someone is a phony baloney. I'm just saying. It's almost like having people help. Getting a group of people together to pray for you, basically, or to pray for so and so or whatever. But it's not a happy prayer. Because it's not a happy prayer. It's a you shouldn't have fucking done that prayer. I think someone's fucking around with crap they don't understand because I keep saying someone's fucking around with crap they don't understand. Broken cheekbone. Is it him that's doing it? No. He's just going to listen. He's going to see this or something. He's a I think TJ's a Capricorn. His birthday is December 30th or something. That's why I wanted to do this. So anyways, it's my son's friend. <coughs> he, he's not part of that, but he's opening up the circle so you can see like meeting new people stuff like that well he's new to me basically not now but he was and I was feeling his energy and didn't know I'm like where the hell is this coming from you know like I don't get it and then I spoke to him and I'm like I'm picking up on you well now that he's here I pick up on him all the damn time but the other day I mean it's happened multiple times I'm like and I've done it in readings where I'll go like this and I'm like, does someone get punched in the face or something? Because that's what it felt like. And then I was sitting, yeah, ow. I was sitting down on my bed and I kept going like this. I think I did it in a reading too. I'm like, my under eye, bags under my eyes. Yeah, my eyes look like shit, you know. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. But I'm like, no, spirit was telling me. Because I do this and this and I'm like, oh, it hurts. 
like four years ago, he got into an accident not that far away from where I live now, and I didn't know it was him. He had fallen asleep behind the wheel going pretty fast, and he smacked a pole, and then he hit it so hard it spun the car and across the street, and then he hit a tree, and he whapped his face off the steering wheel and broke his cheekbone and had a cut under his eye. And that's what spirit was showing me. And I had no clue until I think it was either yesterday or the day before when we were in the car talking, he told me about it. He goes, Oh, do you want to see where I got into my bad accident? And then he told me what happened. I'm like, are you fucking shitting me? Cause as he was talking about it, I started feeling it again. I'm like, Holy crap. My chest hurts. <sighs> Someone deals with chest crap. They really do. And my nose. It feels like my dad. He's not a Capricorn, but I don't know. Cause I literally was feeling his chest pain across the table when I was at his house, like before we stopped talking and stuff. And I like literally went like this because I was like, that's why I keep doing that in the fucking window. Okay, I get it now. So anyway, sometimes it's confusing for me too. Sorry, Cappies. I mean, I'm going to pull cards. Yours is going to be a little bit longer than the rest because I just, it is what it is. <coughs> the cough. Pay attention to the coughs too. That wet cough is my father. When I itch my eyes like crazy, that's my dad also missing a fucking figure too and chest pains um he broke his nose when he was a kid or something i think he got hit in the face with a bat like playing baseball that i don't think it was anyone pissed off at him or anything but my chest it hurts and um, it, it comes and goes, so it's not me, and it comes and goes for him, too, and he was wicked lethargic one day, like, not lethargic, fatigued as a motherfucker. One of the days I was there, I think it was, it was, yeah, I had spent the night, and the next morning, he was really tired, but he was still getting up and doing everything, and I'm just like, because this, this morning, I'm wide awake, and I'm like, why the fuck am I laying in bed right now? I'm, I'm not even tired. And I was just laying there, I'm like, because I'm tired. And then I started, then I started yawning. And I like went, kind of went to sleep for like a minute. And then I woke back up and I'm like, why? I'm like, this is not me, this is someone else. Because I was I'm fine, you know. But anyways, across the table from my father, I was literally feeling his pains. Like, he gets these pains behind his ears, too. And it doesn't happen all the time, but I think it gets worse with those hearing aids that he has. But besides that, um, it's just like it'll sting or something. It's just like kind of like, ow. And I was getting those pains, and whenever I do this, he would do it. And I'm like, okay, it's you. <laughs> it's fucking you. And then um, I touched my chest, and right, because I just went like this, because I didn't want him to know that I was feeling the chest pain. And right when I did that, he goes like this, like, oh, it hurts. And I even said, are you okay? And he's like, yeah, I'm good. He needs to be seen. Sorry, he does. Get your ass to the fucking doctor. <coughs> really? For real? For real, for real? Because I know you're going to fucking see this. Oh, the light's out. Please turn the light back on. I'm gonna cry. Don't cry. I also felt... <clears throat> yeah, don't cry, don't cry. We're good. Um, I keep rubbing my knee. That's his fucking wife. She's got knee problems and stuff. She's got arthritis and shit. And I, my knee was hurting when I was sitting there too. Yeah. Thank God the light's back on. Oh, 
because that, that made me think of what I saw this morning. But anyways, um, I could feel her knee and sometimes I'll just be sitting there. Oh my God, she shakes too. I don't know who's shaky, but it's her. So anyways, I'm picking up on their energy for a reason. For a fucking reason. Anyways, um, chest, knee. <coughs> My dad's got like a bone thing on, on the front of his knee too. And it, and I, when I pick up on him, sometimes I'll tap that like the bone. Cause he showed me, he's got bad feet too. His feet are always sore. But anyway, she rubs this, I don't know, this lotion crap on her knee for pain relief. And I will literally rub my knee the same fucking way that she will or my dad. Cause my dad will help her with that sometimes lotion okay well that makes sense too um wow lightning struck that tree out back of your house for a reason and whether you believe it or not that was divine intervention it's a wake-up call Everything happens for a reason, and sometimes we look at it at, from a perspective of, oh, fuck. Like, um, I, I can't make money now because my, my shop isn't running. It might be up and running now. I'm not sure. I haven't talked to him, but he told me, you know, the power had been killed to that and whatever. But you know what? You need a break. You need to rest. And sometimes it, that could have been coming from your own family, from from Oakley, from your father, saying, okay, well, we'll make you rest. If you're not going to do this, you're not going to take care of yourself, then we'll handle it because it's not your time. There's something fucked up there. There just is. And I don't know what it is, but... <sighs> oh, my stomach. Holy fucking crap. This is how spirit comes through to me and I can pick up on living people. I already said I can feel illnesses and the reason why I can is so that you can make better choices so that, you know, nothing bad happens, basically. A long time ago, um, before I even knew I could do this, just say it, I'm not even shitting you, I didn't even think of this, but um, an old coworker of mine she had, um, she ended up having breast cancer, but before she went to the doctor or anything like that, before she was even concerned about it, I said it in a reading for her. And I was like, I'm not saying you have it, but you know, you might want to go get checked out. Well, she did and they caught it early enough and she's, she's golden. She's good. That's my part of my gift. And, um, oh. It can scare people sometimes and it can scare the fuck out of me too. I'm just saying because I feel some crazy crap, you know, I can feel your intentions. I can feel your depression. I can feel your happiness. I can feel if you're doing drugs, I can feel it. And I was like, cause at one point I was like, Hmm, um, why am I so fucking tired when these people were in my house? Cause that is true. It really fucking happened. I don't give a fuck who believes me or not. But anyways, whoever was on duty to babysit me, <coughs> um, they do different types of fucking drugs or they didn't have, them. I don't know what the fuck it was, but I was like, I hope dopey isn't, <laughs> isn't babysitting me today because every time I'd be like all, all loopy and, because whoever that one is, they either do too much or they shoot up or something. Because <clears throat> they probably, I think they use needles. <clears throat> but regardless of how they do whatever they do, um, I would feel it. I would start getting lightheaded and like, I feel fucked up. Like, that's how I was feeling. I'm like, damn it. And then I was like, I hope Sleepy ain't fucking here today because... I would literally sleep all damn day. So it's either someone who didn't have anything or I don't know, maybe they'd take benzos or something, but I'm like, 
Sleepy needs to stay to fuck home because I got shit to do. I'm like, where the hell's the crackheads? Well, <laughs> just say, I literally would say this stuff. <laughs> but because one day I was so like, I can't even, I don't want to do anything. That's what I was, how I was feeling. Like just uh, sluggish, you know? And then all of a sudden, <laughs> I shit you not. All of a sudden I was like, bing. Oh, I am wide awake. I cleaned the whole motherfucking house out of nowhere. And I was just go, go, go. That happened to me when I was driving one time. I literally had to pull over. I took a nap and then I was wide awake after that. I literally woken up out of a dead sleep in the middle of the fucking night. Like just sat up wide awake zinging. And I'm like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> so... It's like feeling the effects of those of that shit without um without doing it. But I swear to god, people probably thought I was fucked up, but no. I kept that's why I kept taking drug tests. <laughs> that's probably why because I would literally almost once a week I'd go to the damn doctor and get a piss test cuz I'm like I got to get drug tested. I got to get drug tested cuz I don't know why I just kept doing it. Maybe someone was on probation. No, it's to prove that I wasn't on those substances. Because I wasn't. <coughs> and I'm still not. <clears throat> but anyways. Oh, there's surprises coming in for someone. It could be surprise of love. So anyways, yeah, there's that. And let's just see what else comes out. You guys are going to have to get a bonus. I'm just saying. Maybe not. Or maybe you will. Okay. You are getting a bonus anyway. Because I didn't use the candle for no one else. And sometimes, I just want to point this out to you guys. If uh, you have a question and I have the candle in, in here, even though you're watching it after the fact, spirit, spirit knows. And it might be answering you, especially if I'm not saying anything directly and it's going on and off. Um, it is coming from spirit. I'm just saying energy in here is nuts. And I'm going to sneeze. Someone has allergies. It's only up one side of my nose, though. I just heard the nosebleed. Oh, the nosebleed section. Uh, isn't it called Thunder by Imagine Dragons? I'm going to listen to that song next. It's got meaning in this. I'm the lightning. You're the thunder. Something like that. But, you know, the energy is so intense here. And with me, I'm learning how to harness it better. But if I hold my hands like this, it's doing it right now and I'm not even... I can feel the heat building up. It's kind of, it's crazy. It's like a ball. It's a ball of energy. I'm shaking someone's hands now. It's a ball of energy. We're working together whatever that is um there's definitely oh, wow i'm dizzy spirit uh yeah spirits here just they're here because <laughs> i don't know i feel like i feel like i'm just gonna fall asleep all of a sudden i've never done i can't see I've never done this on camera before. I mean, I've had spirits reenacted a few things that have happened to me and showed me in my own room. Um, and with other people too, like the, what has happened to them when they died or, um, you know, what was, what, 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 hmm. Yeah, what's going on with them? I can't talk, I can't speak. Huh, 
I'm not so tired anymore, but I really felt like I just wanted to do this. Because that was happening to me. I was getting drugged, just getting slipped crap. But... Is this the same thing? No. My cheek. This one is getting popped in the face. N not me, but... Oh, this one. <laughs> this finger. The fuck you finger. Because... That's what that feels like. That feels like boom. And that would hurt. Just saying. Because this one was different because it traveled. When I was talking about TJ and then doing this. I just heard you're going to have to heal from this. You'll, you will heal from this. You'll heal from this. Is that for my dad? No, who the fuck is that for? You'll heal from this? That's for someone, I don't know. You'll heal from the negative energy, the bad people. Yeah, there's, someone's bringing some fuck shit someone's way. There's conflict here. It's a, there's a fight. It's like everyone's reaching for the same thing. Like, we all want this. And it's like pulling, pulling the rug out from underneath each person. It's like, who's going to win? My whole mouth hurts now. Like, my whole jaw. Hmm. I don't know what that's from. I really don't. But, okay. It's almost like there's some people in this situation, whatever the fuck this is, for whoever, that they, uh, they seem like a helping hand, but they're not. They're not helping. They're hurting. I'll build you up, tear you down. That's what that feels like. Like, I come in peace. No, you don't. You're the damn devil. Or that someone. Someone is. It's hurting the back of my hand. It's hurting my hand right here. Like a, a tendon or something. Maybe somebody has tendonitis, carpal tunnel, something like that. Because it's just right here that hurts. It's not... I mean, it kind of travels down my wrist, actually. So it really could be some type of tendon or whatever. But, um, it's like a fight to get to the top. I don't fucking know. Someone just wants to tear you down. Yeah, they're sneaky. fucking feathers that were left. I found one in the cemetery and one was in my fucking purse. In my purse. In my bird. <laughs> in my bird. One was in my bird. But it's not anymore. The tail feather. Shake your tail feather. One was in my purse. opportunity somebody might be relocating as well there's a sense of because it keeps staring at that tree painting over there and when I first got it <laughs> when I first got it um, someone from Australia had painted it for me so for those of you that don't think Australia exists I mean like really <laughs> I have another friend 
who lives there too. I mean, she was a subscriber, probably still is, I'm not sure. But anyways, there's a sense of relocation because for some reason, every time I look at that painting, I'm like, that tree is standing all alone for one, but it's like, it didn't belong with all the other trees. It just didn't. So I was like, it's a sense of uprooting oneself and moving forward. Yes, the devil's gonna start talking. Someone was afraid to talk to Ten of Cups. I didn't want to cause conflict. I didn't. Someone could have been in a relationship with someone else as well. And it's like, you know, there's nothing I can do because I'm not going to break up a family situation or whatever. So that could have been going on here for some of you or for someone. But it's like a fight to get to the top. It really is. And I feel like you're fighting against you're fighting against people and energies that you didn't even realize you were fighting against because you didn't think that there was a problem or even if you knew that there was a problem you just didn't know to what extent or who was involved that's what it feels like i feel like it was a fight to stay happy like everything that is being said everything that's being done like, why me? Why? Why? What did I do? That's what I feel with this. And it's like, I have to fight every day to put a smile on my fucking face. Like, I'm trying so hard. I'm helping people and they're hurting me. And that, that was literally happening to me, Jessica. And it, it, fuck it sucked is what it did. It fucking sucked. But, um, you're fighting for your happiness. I feel like a lot of people are, you know, it's like, start kicking these motherfuckers in the face. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, cause I'm looking at the, the conflict here and it's like, you know what? If you want to pull on my leg, get away from me. Oh yeah. Yeah. Betrayal, painful ending. Someone's trying to fuck with your happiness. I'm just saying. They're not happy about what they're hearing and seeing. The devil's not happy that the truth is coming out because someone is walking away from the confusion. Like, okay. Someone walked away from you too, or you walked away from them, but they're walking away from confusion. Like, all right, I just, I don't care. I'm not an option. You're not an option. Someone could be feeling a little left out right now. Oh, the Queen of Wands. She has like the little fire in her hand and stuff. That's in this deck. That's what I was talking about. Ouch. It's hurting again. Right when I looked at the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But that dude looks like my dad. <laughs> like he legit does. He really, in the card. And there's a wolf laying right beside him. <coughs> but anyway, <clears throat> yeah. That's not his sun sign. Him and I are both Scorpios, but he has, he's like a Scorpio Sagittarius cusper. Because his birthday is um, November 21st. And I'm Halloween 1031. So I'm like in the beginning of Scorpio and he's at the end. So I'm like kind of Libra Scorpio and he's Scorpio Sag. But regardless of that, I don't know why the hell. Um, I looked at that card and then I got a chest pain. That's what it was. Because even though that's not his, he could have earth in his chart for all I fucking know. You know, we never know someone's um, natal chart either. Someone really wants to express themselves. I heard you really hurt my feelings. That's what I was doing with my hand. It's like, send some love, send some passion someone's way. Maybe some of you are doing that. Or you were. You could be doing it online. There's some type of communication here. But this is a higher higher knowledge, you know, learning, trying to figure things out, like, 
the information is carrying me along is what that feels like. I don't know. There's, there's like an epiphany here or something. Someone's seeing something. But, <clears throat> yeah, and they want to come in and say something. All right, I've seen it. Now I want to say it. <laughs> oh, the fucking spelling words and stuff. Could be a Scorpio, but this is an ending. But with every ending, there's always a new beginning. You know what I mean? Someone also doesn't want you to be single anymore. They want to put a ring on it. <laughs> Even if they don't actually do that, you know what I mean? It's the level of commitment here. It could be with someone from the past or soulmate energy. You have a very strong intuitive connection with this person. <coughs> but yeah, that's what they have for you for now. Because this one, these are supposed to be short. But I did this for a reason in Capricorns. I don't know why. But, um... I'm talking to a man. I don't know. Someone does this with their go-to or just, I don't fucking know. But anyway, whoever you are, I love you guys and I'll talk to you real soon.